Hello again everyone, Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you a little uh, preview of the upcoming July 16, 2019 lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Now, of course, we're talking about lunar eclipses in astrology. I mean, in general, of course, they are basically amplified, intensified uh, full moons. They could have much more uh, powerful effect on a person. They could be much more sustained and they could very well uh, be life altering, I believe, in some instances. Now, thing is, um, as far as, I mean, when you're talking about, uh, I mean, full moon, soul, uh, lunar eclipse. Now, you're talking about, I mean, when, when you're talking about full moon in astrology, it could be very unrestrained, uninhibited emotional expression, but this is going to be even uh, more powerful on average, and this is going to be too where emotions can really be full throttle. It's a lot of very strong emotional uh, intensification. If you're having like this hitting your own moon and you're going through a lunar return, this could be a time where emotions can really uh, be very, I uh, mean, very strong. I mean, the moon will be in its detriment, of course, in Capricorn because of this, but this could be still very, I would say, more uh, sad, uh, really despondent emotions, really, I mean, you're talking very serious as well there's not going to be anything really I mean you're talking about Capricorn energy obviously nothing really flippant or connected with it or whimsical this is going to be something too where uh, I mean Capricorn of course is energy that is I mean very serious business and also when you're talking about full moon lunar eclipse and astrology this could be the ending or completion or culmination uh, of something uh, it could be something Capricorn uh, related it could be the end of some responsibility it could be the end of some kind of uh, limiting or restricting thing it could be some revelation to you or unveiling sometimes it could even be a, like a self revelation or unveiling something that might have been inhibiting you or restricting you say if you have this in the 12th house this could be something that may have been connected with self sabotage and you it might be something that was very limiting and restricting to you but maybe it was like some self limitation because remember you're talking about the 12th house as a house uh, connected with Pisces and deception so you might have been maybe fooling yourself and it might be you might become more aware and cognizant of that around this time now also too when you're talking about I mean uh, full moon lunar eclipses in astrology I mean this again it could be you know endings completions culminations of something this could be something that maybe you know, in, in, in the way in, in contrast to a regular full moon I think when when something comes to an end say it's something of some kind of profession or or a job you may have that might be Capricorn related that comes to an it could be something that may have been more sustained and that you had for a more uh, protracted period this could be something like for example I mean it could be something ending connected with something with carpentry accounting business politics of government something with management something and just a position of authority in general working as a landlord um, again something with business something it could even be just general uh, mundane uh, type work uh, information technology anything that could be Capricorn related and the thing about uh, this too is and especially if this is hitting one's uh, second or sixth or tenth house in one's natal chart because of course those are uh, uh, the, the money houses the profession houses I call them money or profession houses and also too this could be an, a time too I mean we're talking about full uh, full moons in astrology could be times where one becomes very tired very full very exasperated uh, had enough of something and the fact that this is going to be one this is going to be a lunar eclipse this could be a, something that may have been going on for a very long time and it was something that was very enduring capricorn energy could be very constant and consistent and this is something where you just really might uh, you know finally just had enough of say a person that might have been might be overly um 
cold, callous, undemonstrative, restricting, inhibiting, uh, overly authoritative, bossy, somebody that might have just been just downright ruthless, and you're going uh, to all, and maybe overly serious and, and too overly orthodox and conventional, somebody that might have been really not willing to go outside the box, so to speak. You also remember you're going to have this conjunction with Pluto, in there so this could be a time where maybe some cases it could be some kind of emotional manipulation that was something very serious that was almost regimented you might have felt given this is Capricorn energy it could also be somebody that might have had some psychological effect on you may maybe you know might come to an end remember too when you're talking about eclipses in astrology lunar, you know it's a lunar eclipse I say this could be the, the departure of maybe a, a prominent female in your of somebody that play the dominant role, dominant female. Given that it's a Capricorn, it could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Capricorn traits or characteristics. It could be a person that maybe was a mentor to you or somebody that was prominent in your career, an authority figure, maybe somebody that you were in business with. Uh, say if it falls in the seventh house, it could be somebody that you were in a business partnership or connection with. In the eighth house, it could have been somebody you were in a prolonged, maybe sexual or intimate relationship or shared resources situation with. Now, when you when you talk about this at astrology, of course, the house that this falls in can be very significant, as that could flavor the energy and impact uh, this a little. Now, interestingly enough, I, I haven't really checked precisely where this falls in LeBron James' chart, but I believe it's the eighth house. But you might, may want to check on that to verify. And it, at least it's going to be close to uh, LeBron James' eighth house. If it's not, doesn't fall in his eighth house. It may be conjunct from the seventh or very close to the eighth house cusp. Either way, what's what's interesting is this: that many of you may know that follow uh, the NBA, aka the National Basketball Association, is that the Lakers, the team that he is current, LeBron James is currently on, is going through a little bit. A little bit of transformation they're going through, uh, adding new players. Uh, last season was obviously a disappointment for LeBron James. I'm sure it caused a lot of, you know, he's a Capricorn son, a lot of dejection, despondency, and made him feel very melancholy. But what's going to happen is when this uh, full moon in Capricorn takes place on uh on July uh, 16th, it's going to make an inconjunct aspect to his Gemini Ascendant. So I find what's interesting around this time, I think it's going to be a time where maybe by this time the free agents, the acquisitions that were acquired with the Lakers, he's going to really become cognizant that this is going to be an adjustment period for him because, you know, inconjuncts can often be about adjustments. Again, that full moon in Capricorn is going to make an inconjunct aspect to LeBron James a versatile Gemini rising and he might realize the adjustment well perhaps that could that could manifest in LeBron James case is that he may he may realize he might not have to be Mr. Versatility what he projects very outwardly naturally he won't have to be Mr. Ubiquity necessarily and go all over the court as much as he has to because he's going to get uh, some help and it's something career you know connected with his career and this is um, because it is Capricorn energy that's going to inconjunct his ascend the full moon in Capricorn, making the inconjunct aspect to his ascendant. And the thing about it is it's something that's going to be very serious, of course, for him too. And, and Capricorn energy could be limit, limiting as well. He may realize that he might be uh, a little bit more of a limited role, but due to the fact he's going to get a little help from his friends, so to speak. Many of you may know that follow the NBA um, DeMarcus Cousins has recently signed uh, with the Lakers. They also got Anthony Davis. And uh, so they do have, I mean, they have a plethora of talent on this team. And I think what it's going to be to LeBron James, this is going to be where he truly realizes, maybe by, or at or around this time, that this is going to be uh, an adjustment period for him. And it actually could be better because it could take some of the heat uh, off of LeBron James, so to speak. So. Anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to, to add on this, as far as uh, as far as this um, this full moon uh, energy goes, is that looking at this uh, as well. I mean, 
it's going to be of course you, you have it in Capricorn it's going to be obviously very serious energy you're also gonna again going back to Pluto and Capricorn you're going to have that you have Saturn in Capricorn the south node in Capricorn a very strong Capricorn energy uh, at this time if I'm not mistaken you check this there's no um, planets that are going to be in air signs at this time so it might be a little bit uh, difficulty in articulating some of these th if you're trying to end something Capricorn related and you need to verbalize it and articulate it it may be more difficult than usual also I believe Mercury is going to be retrograde as well and you have some other retrograde planets as well so there's the energy it's going to be a little bit difficult to maybe uh, express and, and sometimes when you have like mercury retrograde things can get misconstrued a little bit so anyway and also there'll be communications with matters of pride uh, as well and, and the thing about it is uh, given that mercury will be in Leo but the, but another thing is that you're gonna have the south node in Capricorn very close to Saturn closing in on Saturn so this could be indicative of going away from authority at this time and if you're in and again what reaffirms a lot of that energy is the fact again the full moon being in Capricorn it could be the end of a period maybe of somebody that was an authority figure over you in some cases it could be a position of authority that you may have had that maybe comes to an end or completion or culmination remember that when you're talking about uh, full moons, uh, so you talk about lunar eclipses and astrology, full moons, a lot of times, remember that ending and, and the fact that it's in Capricorn, it's not all necessarily all despair and gloom and doom, people, because a lot of times the completion or, or ending of, of something could signify uh, a new beginning. And I do believe eclipses, again, as I've stated in previous videos, could be rather serendipitous in many cases. It could be something where you're you're looking at say a discovery um you know of a like for example let's say that you have um this full moon lunar eclipse that falls in capricorn right and let's say it hits your first or sixth house and it's something where something health related comes into view it, it's revealed and unveiled something capricorn related such as something with the hamstrings the bones the knees or the joints say you get taken to a hospital maybe you meet somebody uh, up in the hospital room and somebody talks to you and 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 you find out and maybe something career related actually might uh, might come out of it or maybe you talk to somebody and they they hear what you have to say about your credentials what you're able to do job wise and this person is able to refer you to some place which give which is life enhancing which it gives you a better job more money I mean those are I mean when you're talking about lunar eclipses solar eclipses in astrology those are some things that could happen uh, I believe sometimes what happens is it's kind of like the lemon converting to lemonade kind of theory hold on a moment people sorry about that I'm back but anyway and again I mean let's say if this falls another example I want to give is like if this falls in the eighth house this could be a surgical uh, type thing that might be discovered it could be again something connected with the bones and these the joints the hamstrings and if somebody I want to go back to this being in the first house I think what's interesting is that you're going to have again you're going to have Pluto pretty fairly close proximity to this full moon and Pluto can be about surgery and transformation so if you're having this in the first house this could be a time too where you might actually it might not just be about I mean a, a, a situation I mean full moons in astrology they fall in the first or sixth house a lot of times I think they could be surgical related issues anyway but if you got especially now if you got Pluto connected with it that could really intensify that propensity perhaps to have something surgical related or even some kind of transformation remember Capricorn is connected with the skin it could be something even associated uh, maybe with the skin or, or there's some kind of like a knee replacement because again Pluto can be transforming uh, energy and it could be one too again this falls in the first house and if you have say uh, full moons and astrology are often again could be about when one becomes tired exasperated and full of something 
And if it's a time where, you know, you might get tired again of like say a limiting appearance or maybe you look all being Capricorn, you might ascend, you may look older uh, than you actually do. In many cases that could be true because Capricorn is very often very mature beyond their years and sometimes it affects them in terms of their countenance, their complexion and their appearance. So it could be something where you might uh, be, get tired of that and really want to transform your appearance, which could be done uh, as an example through working out vigorously and doing cardio or weightlifting, something that might be done to get uh, to make that change connected with your uh, appearance. So, I mean, those are some ways uh, that this could manifest, though, as far as this uh, full moon lunar eclipse in the zodiac sign Capricorn on July 16, 2019. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for a um, little early preview of the upcoming July 16, 2019 uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn. And stay tuned next time where I will be continuing my monthly horoscope series. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.